We bought this lens for $60 on eBay. This is the MIR 1B 37mm with an aperture of 2.8. It's an old Russian lens from the mid 50s and it's famous for its unique cinematic look. Hey everybody, we're Merlin and Zoe and we're the film people. Today we're gonna test this lens. So first of all, we're gonna find a nice location for that. So let's jump right into it. We are actually out here to find a location for an upcoming project, but since we're already here and have our cameras with us, why not have some fun with our new lens? So, in order to use this lens on a Sony a7 III, we need this 42 screw mount to Sony E-mount adapter. So, let's put it together and put it on our camera. Let's shoot a cinematic sequence. The sun's gone away, so we're gonna drive to another spot to see if we can catch some more sunlight. Okay, we are done for today. We found our location and also got to try out our new lens. So we're headed home now and we're really excited to see the results. So, now that we've watched and edited all our shots, we quickly want to share our opinion on this lens. First of all, the cons. The lens does have beautiful flares, but it gets too bright very quickly. We, while we were shooting we had to be extremely careful not to look too much towards the sun or otherwise our shots would all be completely white. That of course applies to all lenses in a way but given that we were shooting during the sunset and on a cloudy day we can definitely say that the lens is very sensitive and overexposes easily. Another thing that we didn't like was that we couldn't really do any detail shots with it. The adapter we were using might have intensified that, but we couldn't get closer than about one meter to an object without losing focus. That combined with the 37 millimeter focal length doesn't really make this lens suitable for close shots. But now to the pros. We love this lens. Even without color grading, you can get a very cinematic and unique look out of it. The flares are pretty cool and the shots look very different to our usual Sony lens, which is good. Once you apply some color grading, you will see you get some beautiful colors out of this lens. I think the best part of the lens is the price. Every single one of the $60 you paid for it was worth it. So if you're looking for a lens and a cheap way to get a cinematic or a fancy look, this might be your lens. All in all, we are very happy with this lens and you will definitely see it in some of our new videos. That's for sure. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are uploading a new video every Sunday, so we're really hoping to see some of you around.